Hey guys, so this is my 25 week update. Um, my camera is probably going to cut off a couple times because I have like no memory left on there. But, um, so she is the size of a papaya this week. Finally, a new food. Um, from this week to 28 weeks, approximately the size of a papaya. Anywhere from 1.4 to 2.2 pounds. And anywhere from 13 to 15 inches. Um, my symptoms. Uh, the other day, I thought I had found the stretch marks on my stomach. Because it just looked like two tiny, like really faint little pink lines. But I'm pretty sure now that they were just like scratches from my kitten or something because they're gone. Thank goodness. Um, either way, I bought stretch mark cream. <laughs> but yeah, I really don't want stretch marks. Like, I know nobody does, but some people, when they get them, they're like, I don't know, they're proud of them and I just really don't want them. <laughs> but again, with some nausea, which this is actually been caused pretty much by the heartburn which is actually getting worse like I thought it would um, usually I wake up in the middle of the night and my it feels like kind of fiery right there and um, usually a Tom's can fix it but sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm already basically about to throw up so it's not it's not been too bad still not like when I had morning sickness but yeah heartburns bringing some of that back uh -huh. And then, of course, frequent urination. She's always pushing on my bladder. Always makes me feel like I have to pee ten times worse than I do. And then another thing that's pretty much been going on for, I don't know, just a couple weeks is I get, like, super easily exhausted. My cat is climbing the thing that I have my phone on. But, um... I'll get so exhausted, like, if I'm going around the room, like, picking things up and having to bend down 10 million times, that just makes me, like, want to go take a nap, especially if it's outside. If I walk around for just a little bit and I have to bend over and, like, pick up something, ugh, makes me tired, which is crazy because my belly's not even that big yet, but I don't know, it's, I, I've been getting tired easily. Um... So pretty much that's all my symptoms, and then I have just a bunch of other, not really random, but stuff to talk about. So I had my appointment um, on Monday, and that was for my, I guess, I don't know what it's called, glucose test, the sugar test where they test if you have gestational diabetes. And I thought I was going to have to have my blood drawn. <laughs> my cat is sitting in this baby um, walker right now. I have to show you this. Tiggy? What, can you see? No? Tiggy, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, because that's where I have my phone sitting. <laughs> but. Yeah, my, I thought they were going to have to draw my blood, and they actually just had to, all they had to do was prick my finger at the beginning, then I drank the drink, which was not that bad at all, just really sugary, and I just really wanted water, like, while I was drinking it, but it wasn't bad at all, so I drank it, and then waited an hour, saw my doctor in between that time, one of the six doctors I have to see, this one was my favorite so far, he was so nice. And I asked him about the water park, if there's anything I can do, and basically he told me what I already knew, which was I can probably do like the lazy river if I want pools, but stay probably stay away from the slides. So, anyways, and then after that hour was up, they pricked my finger again. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Doug? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't, my cat probably doesn't entertain you as much as he entertains me, but I think he's adorable. Um, and 
um, at my appointment I was a little over 24 weeks and he also brought up the fact that there's now a chance that the baby could survive if born early. I was like, I already know, I have a chart. And at 24 weeks, there's about a 39% chance of survival. Now that I'm at 25, it's 50-50, so, like, that makes me feel so much better. I mean, I know it's still kind of scary because there's a 50% chance that you could lose your baby. But 50, like, that's... I am wearing a dress, so I had to throw some pants on real fast. But... Okay, so here's for the front with the dress on, up, side, and then the other side. That's hard to tell in this dress. Okay, and then put them up, and then the side. And then the other side.